wouldn't it be great to 3D print in multiple colours? In this video, I'll go over how to print in multiple colours, but first, you are going to need a few things. A 3D printer. Two or more rolls of 3D printer filament. And some 3D files to print. As with most 3D printers on the market, they generally come with a single extruder head, just like the one I have here. Uh, some 3D printers come with dual extruders, so there'll be two of these. That allows you to have two uh, lots of filament being fed into the printer at the same time. That also allows you to print multicolored uh, in the horizontal space or on the same layer. So you can have, for example, um, this half being one color and this half being the other, or, or a separate color slice throughout that horizontal layer. But as we've only got one extruder here, the way that we're going to produce a multicolored print is only in the z-axis or the uh, or the vertical. So as you can see on this one, I have yellow at the base, and then blue, then orange, and then red. And the way you do that is basically pausing the print at a certain height, replacing the filament in the extruder, and then resuming the print. The quickest or the easiest way to do that is to actually hit pause, either on the uh, screen while you're printing or within the uh, computer program such as Pronterface, which is what I prefer, uh, to hit pause within that program and then lift the z-axis, change over the filament uh, and finally hit resume. Uh, the downside to that is it's quite difficult to get the exact point that you want to pause it because whenever you hit pause in, in um, uh, Pronterface, that pause command is at the back of the queue. The printer is continually printing and it has to get to that uh, place in the buffer to actually pause. So what we'll do in this video is in Cura, there is a plugin called pause at height and we can tell um, the G-code slicing program exactly where to pause so we can get a nice clean symmetrical finish with our part. I've downloaded this pour print tag from Thingiverse. This will be our first test print. I'll be printing this in two colours, the first colour being the bottom half and the second colour being the top half where the pour print is. On the left hand side we have the quality settings that I'll be using, so I'll be printing at a medium resolution of 0.2mm layer height. In the advanced tabs I keep everything here uh, default these days, however I am printing in PLA so I am using the cooling fan. And lastly, to actually engage the pause at height or pause at print feature, under the plugins tab, we have this option here, pause at print, highlight that, click the down arrow. That'll create this new option box down below here. This gives us the option to pause the print at a given height and to park the print head at a given location, which gives us time to replace the plastic before we can hit resume. Now I don't want to pause this at any location, I want to pause it just as the transition from this piece starts. So I want to pause it at about this location here where the pour print begins. So I'll click on view mode, click on layers, and I want to know exactly which layer that particular feature starts at. So scrolling down I can see there layer 11 is where this pour print starts. Now, just going back to basic, I'm printing at a 0.2mm layer height and also my initial layer thickness is 0.2, so this is going to be easy to decipher which layer 11 is. Basically, using the calculator, we can uh, times 11 by 0.2 to give us our 2.2mm layer height at which this transition occurs. So back to the plugins, pause at height. We want to pause at 2.2 millimeters. The head park location, I'm going to keep this default at the stage. So for the X and Y axis being 190 and the Z, I'm going to increase the Z of course to about 20 millimeters. I want to give myself enough clearance uh, on the head um, so I can replace the filament and resume the print. And as you can see on the left hand side, we have this blue triangle here. This is what the print head is going to do. Uh, during this pause at height uh, transition. So if we scroll down to 10, you can see it's printing there, 11, that's where it's going to, to lift the head, and then 12, that's where it's then going to resume the print and start printing this pour print. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's start printing. 
Just before we print this piece, there's something I'd like to bring to your attention, and that is to do with the Marlin firmware. So in Arduino, I've opened up the configuration underscore advanced file, so configuration underscore advh, and there's a feature in here called default stepper release if idle. So by default, when the printer pauses, it's going to lock the stepper motors on, so they're going to try to hold their current X and Y and Z position, which is very important. If by any chance you move any of those axes, when you go to print resume, it's not going to print at the last location. It's going to be offset by the, the amount that you've moved that axis. So by default, it's going to lock the stepper motors in place for only 60 seconds. So that gives you a 60 second window to change the filament without accidentally knocking the stepper location. So what I like to do, or what I will do, is I'll increase this way up, for, at least for this test, so I'll increase it to 300 seconds, that's going to give me five minutes to, you know, at my leisure, replace that filament and hit resume before the stepper motors are turned off, which will then easily allow them to be moved just by, just by bumping them. And there it is. It has paused at 2.2 millimeter part height. It has raised the z-axis by 20 millimeters and it has also moved the x and y position to 190. The stepper motors are locked so uh, it's not going to be easy to accidentally bump uh, either axis, although don't go out of your way to try that at this stage. So now I can go ahead and replace the dark blue filament with my next color being orange. Whenever I change filament colours, I like to ensure that the previous colour has been totally extracted or pushed through the nozzle. So I want to push through as much of this orange as I need until all the blue has been expelled. So it's kind of a mishmash at the moment of orange and blue. That looks pretty good. Okay, feed down the PTFE tube. Screw on the idler. Remove the excess filament from the nozzle. There might be a little bit of string there, I'll remove that. And finally, on the LCD screen, press the button to resume. And be ready to remove the last piece of ooze that has come out of the nozzle. final test piece I'll be printing this tornado vase that I downloaded from Thingiverse. Uh, this vase will be printed hollow. This vase I'll be printing with the four translucent PLA colors from Polymaker. I'd like to print the first color up to the base of the funnel and the final three colors evenly up the funnel here. So back onto plugins I've already pre-programmed the three pause at height locations that I'd like this print to stop. The first pause at height location is at 8.8 millimeters. That is down here. And if I switch to my layer mode, I'll be able to show you that. Scrolling down until we see that triangle, that blue triangle, there it is. So that's the first location, layer number 44. Timesing that by 0.2 millimeters gives us our 8.8. .8. That's the location of the first 
color that I'll change. The next color will be at 25.2 millimeters height and if we scroll up we'll see exactly where that is which is right there at layer 126 so we'll change to the third color at that point and lastly the next or the final pause height is 41.6 millimeters high scrolling up there it is there at 208 when pausing multiple times in a print, the way Cura slices these multiple pause at heights is from the bottom pause at height first and then it works its way up the stack. So you must have the lowest pause at height location at the base and the highest pause at height location at the top. And there we have it, paused bang on 8.8 millimeters and parked the head on the top right hand side and lifted by 20 millimeters as expected. Next color up, translucent blue. And here they are, the puppy tag and the tornado vase printed in multiple colours. It was as easy as what you saw. It's basically just pausing the print, changing the filament and hitting resume. And using your slicing program, in my case Cura, I can pinpoint exactly which layer I'd like it to pause so I can get the best effect from changing the colours. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, don't forget to comment, and I'll catch you next time.